Hi all, welcome to the Oracle CPQ online training program. In this uh, training program, we will be talking about the Oracle CPQ product, how the <coughs> Oracle CPQ product has been launched to the industry, how the CPQ product has been getting utilized in this industry on and in getting utilized in the uh, organization, how the Oracle CPQ product is being uh, enhance the sales process, uh, commercial activities, or how this process can be boost your organization structure and uh, sales organization restructuring, everything about the business level and to the other side, to a, to a developer level of thing or to a resource level. Actually, perspective be from the point of view of a resources, how uh, you can learn Oracle CPQ. Uh, if, if, if you want to learn your, if you want to start your career in Oracle CPQ, what all the basic things you should understand, how, how you can learn all those things will be covered in the training program. So this is the first uh, session I am starting. In the sessions we will be talking uh, mostly to the agenda, I am coming to the agenda part. So before agenda, so we would like to discuss about the CPQ, what is CPQ and all the remaining stuff related to that. Okay, yeah, let's get started here. So specifically, uh, before going to any uh, screen level representation, the screen level you know, demonstrations and all, that we can cover in the coming session. So we have an, a number of with uh, detailing the in-depth uh, hands of training programs uh, in those coming sessions we'll be explaining you how we can uh, go through the current uh, steps and various actions how we can learn cpq how we have to perform actions in cpq all those things will be covering so uh, let's uh, understand what is cpq oracle cpq exactly so uh, I have given some explanations here or the definitions uh, convincing uh, in the Oracle CPQ job which relates to the current industry. So let's go through each one by one. So Oracle CPQ is a price code of a say, sales personal opportunity to quickly configure and price complex products or services, select the best option to meet their clients needs, review promotions, negotiate the best deals, create robust contacts and take advantage. So these are the normal activities that's happening in a product based organizations. Um, just talking aloud, uh, I would like to keep it just a business level or business overview also, how this process or how the business industry works uh, in, in, in the business side. And then we will talk about the IT side, how the developments and other things happens. So uh, where wherever the pain area, the organization will need uh, the help of the Oracle CPQ that we are talking about. Specifically, in an organization, we know we have a sales team will be there, respective commercial team will be there. So the jobs of the sales team is to meet the customers, go to the customer office, or discuss the deal, uh, demonstrate about the products which that specific organization is offering. All those things actually. If that salesperson if uh, having an automated tool uh, which describes about uh, the organization portfolio uh, or the, that respective salesperson ceiling area uh, for example if a salesperson sorry if a salesperson is selling um, a car i mean a tata car actually he is a selling sales manager of a tata car actually tata motors so uh, he's going to the customer or he can the customer will <clears throat> come to the uh, client location of the office so they have to explain this is our car demonstration all those things likewise any products needs to be sell so uh, they can explain in, in a tool saying that this is how the product this is a pricing if you are taking this uh, you know add on this product specification will get added or anything can be a product okay uh, in this world it's all the product selling organization is a uh, leaders and they are using this oracle cpk more uh, more efficiently to make their system alive 
so imagine <clears throat> now say it's a person is at the customer they want to meet the customer so customer is asking me so can you please show me a quotation how much it would cost what is for one year of term if i'm buying your product so ideally then uh, they have to go to the uh, on product company talk to the product managers of the parent company then approve take the approval of that commercial manager these are the back end activity normally happens if you are doing all these automation of this activity developed in oracle cpq then the he can the sales person can on fly create a configure a code code means kind of an starting up an order okay so just dealing with a customer saying that okay this is your quotation this much price you it will cost for you uh, this is your uh, configuration items these all the things you will be getting this is your terms and condition all those get in, items will get in a document on a click away and you can share those uh, document with the customers it is a faster and smarter processes so this is a end business objective how the oracle cpq can Uh, give and valued in inputs to the uh, organizations how this can help how this can help or how this value added to the uh, current industry we using the oracle cpq part it's again selling the oracle cpq also can be used to support the robust i mean not only that uh, sales part once a sales selling part is done the order should go to the further next step right it's go to the billing it's go to the invoicing so all the data the oracle cpq can be integrated to an erp system all those kind of integrations part is there so we will be coming to that uh, step by step on yours i'm just explaining you the business level of uh, depth or business level of need where the cpq people of course before understanding i believe that if you are understanding about the business and need about the business and working on a particular system which will give much more understanding and much more keen to learn the technical the technology of that system okay so that's all about the like cpq as a product okay but cpq specifically uh, configure price code this stands for the cpq so specifically uh, if we're talking about this configure price code why we have such definitions i mean that's a process that has been set i have already said that uh, in an organization there are some structure there is a process to uh, work within the sales team okay in every organization if you streamline the your configured price and cord process your business transformation has been end up in a very successive module and you can efficiently sell your products efficiently sell your product using the uh, oracle cpq products using the oracle cpq and all so let let's go to each uh, points specifically what is configure price and cord create valid product configuration with user friendly dynamic interface whether your customer needs a simple or complex products engineer to order scenarios that sees that what all your customer needed according to a product specification we can develop that part in the oracle cpq in the configuration module those things you have to configure first according to your customer requirement so that means if customer asks for you any product specification of course you have a product portfolio as a sales person you will be showing to the customer saying so these are the products or these are the specification of that product uh, we are having as an organization so that customer will give a requirement sales i need these specifications can you please tell me how much is the cost and all things for that to getting into that position first you have to configure the line items or configure the products that means what all the products needed what all the addition accessories needed in any any product okay it can be um, in in medical terms it can be an engineering part it can be a car selling it can be network bandwidth and it's based on your company so you do the configurations okay once the configuration has been done what is the next step you will have the pricing so that means the configured items will have some price okay so uh, it's systematic systematic flow okay step by step flow configured item is billable 
so each line item should be it's a pricing line item should be displayed for example uh, if, if you are selling a, uh, a computer if you are configuring a computer then they will charge for the monitor they will charge for this uh, ups uh, they will charge for the cpu if you are asking for an additional uh, a graphics card so all those specifications that's we so each line item have its own prices right so uh, we will be building uh, all the pricing logic all the stuff in oracle cpq uh, based on the requirement that's a product requirement okay and uh, we'll do the configuration and you will get the pricing so what are the things we have configured will get the pricing so you will get a, a number of pricing line item according to your configurations what's the next step in in the process once the product has been uh, configured we will get the price of course as a customer even if we are performing as a customer if we are going to buy any products our normal ask is for a discount do we have any discount for this particular island item for this particular product if i'm buying for one year or two year or three year what are the things so then that uh, salesperson has to work with the commercial manager of that product company they will ask for the approvals if a customer for example if i am the customer i will talk to the sales investor i need a 30 percent discount on this product so we be able to keep that so customer the sales the sales of that product company will send a request to commercials asking is our our customer is asking a 30 percent discount can we able to keep that much discount for this particular product then uh, they will send an automatically request inside the oracle cpq tool uh, that request will go to the customer uh, the commercial manager the commercial manager will see what all the items he has configured uh, how much is the total cost will according to the legal and all the formalities will be able will the product company is able to give 30 percent discount as per the uh, their product team can do our product in pricing logic or whatever the things they are, they have some rules so they are telling yes we can give 30 percent discounts so commercial manager will approve it so what is the next step the configuration has been done the price has been uh, uh, got approved and the discount has been uh, given of on the total cost what all the things and next is the code generation the code generation is a document part that means the configured line item and the configured item name the pricing the discount all those things will be populated in a document that's called the quotation so or the proposal we can say we will share these things with customer sir this is uh, your proposal if you are buying this product with the 30 percent discounts this is your line item these are the product line item will be delivering uh, these are the uh, line item actions all the things will be coming uh, how much uh, you know uh, time of delivery we can do all those six things, things will be uh, explained in that document that uh, the terms and conditions of that product everything I mean, the document uh, defining can be or uh, is decided by the company what all how your end output should be looks like so okay, these are the processes configure price and code these the lengthy process happens in sales life cycle okay so what we are going to do we are an oracle cpq in as a developer uh, as an architect or any of the company it team what we are going to do we are implementing company's business needs according to the requirement and develop those part in cpq to support or enhance the sales or the business transmission through configured price and code process if i am telling uh, it's, it's a lengthy story i have separate how the customer meeting all those things are this if uh, if we have a pre-planned configuration set and ready within five to ten minutes not even that much time is required we can within ten minutes we can get the product configuration pricing discounting code generation can done in oracle cpq that's how i mean imagine how fast the sales process have, can be successfully achieved how fast actually we are sharing a quotation with the customer 
if that happens in a manual way, then sales has to go back. If if sales is in a customer place, and sales has to go back to uh, the office, or he has to speak to the commercial manager, uh, or wait for him uh, his approval or him or her approval, uh, wait for the uh, template that provided by the commercial manager, uh, offline approval, emails, all those things we have to wait. But in this everything is automated it's just an action click needed from prospective sales or the commercial manager to get the document from the system so i believe you understand what is configured price and what the reason why i am explaining much uh, in depth about the process is it, it's a different kind of technology uh, it's a different kind of module the, the resources the students or the resources who are not used about this technology uh, for them uh, it, it just give an advantage what is, what is they are going to see in future sessions all those things okay